obviously it was the hope. But I mean, what you know, what, in the summer when you figure out this guy's not actually all show, it's yeah. kind of what goes through your head. Well, you know, I think you know when you signed this class back in November, and you know, a couple guys, you know, even in uh, in, the, in the springtime, when it's a, this talented of a class, not likely will they all show up. And so, uh, once we got through the second day of draft, you felt pretty good about it. Uh, but you still don't know, and uh, you know. But you know, as you know, some days start to pass, you start to realize that you know you're going to get them all. And uh, uh, it's, it's going to be a special class, obviously. You know, 19 newcomers, and uh, we're really young, but uh, but, but very talented. I, I, I know that obviously you, you give them some space around that draft time. Do they just start calling you afterwards and kind of telling you what's up? Like, how does that process work? I think it's 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 kind of a culmination of a lot of things. You know. Uh, you know, it starts, I think, you know, about this time, you know, like for the, the, the 2017 work. I go to you know, most of their houses and do a PowerPoint presentation on the, on the draft and try to more informative to tell them all about how the draft works and, uh, and then, you know, why they should come to college, you know, versus sign a pro contract out of high school. Uh, but I, I think it's it's a lot of things, and I think it's different for, for, for you know, uh, different kids, you know. As far as you know, the importance of education, wanting to be at Ole Miss, wanting to be on this campus, wanting to be a college student, uh, and you know, part of it's just with Coach Lafferty, you know, recruiting kids and families that I think you know put a premium on on coming to college. How big is the fall for those newcomers? I mean, how big is the fall anytime? I guess when you're when you're a freshman, regardless of how talented you are. Well, I think every fall is important for everybody, but I think a lot of times, you know, the freshmen put a little too much pressure on themselves. Okay. And I think that's one of the goals is to get them to play just like they did in high school. Right. And they play with that same mindset. Let the strength and the conditioning take care of itself. Let what you learn on the field and, and some of the things and just mother nature take over. But don't put too much pressure on yourselves and just go out and play like you have your whole life. You know, obviously they must have done something really well to get here and have enough confidence to just let that play out. And it's a hard thing. Much easier said than done. And that's why we watch a lot of really good players maybe, you know, not contribute for a year or two. And then some guys do it right off the bat and are freshman All-Americans. And, and that's, I think, the exciting thing for us in the fall is to see which ones are ready to do it right now. And uh, you look back and there's some guys like Lance Lynn and Drew Pomerantz, they didn't have great uh, freshman falls. Uh, but they blossomed in the spring. And then there's other guys like Sykes Orvis that really didn't put it together until his junior year. And so I think that's one of our goals is to, to, to help them you know, through that process to relax and just play the game. And what are the biggest things you do try to do in a fall? Or does it change, I guess, every year depending on who you've got? Well, I, I think you know, team-wise, obviously, we got to put in the system. And we we got to go through our pitching system, our hitting system. This And we've done that over the last month. You know, this next month will really – uh, you know, focus on team type of stuff, team defense, team offense, uh, watching the pitchers throw, watch the hitters hit against live pitching, those types of things. Uh, but with this young of a team, you know, as I said, I think 19 newcomers, uh, I believe that we only have uh, eight juniors and seniors combined. And uh, that's, so that's yeah. like that's like 30, you know, uh, freshmen and sophomore, and uh, so a lot of new faces out there. So we have to be patient. We have to understand it's one of those falls where we'll probably have to take an extra day when we do bunt defenses or or things like that because there's guys out on the field, a lot of lot of new guys at different positions.